hungry, braving freezing temperatures and relentless rainfall with nearly no hygiene and sanitation facilities. Nearly 14,000 migrants trapped on Greece's closed border with Macedonia are living in subhuman conditions. They are stranded at Idomeni after Macedonia closed its doors to refugees, sealing shut the main migration route to Western Europe. Although most of the migrants vow to remain on the border until the gate reopens, some exhausted by the harsh reality and fearing for the most vulnerable members of their family are losing heart and thinking of leaving. Feeling not good here. Is, nobody's can, uh, living here. You say it's jungle, cold, winter, windy, very cold here. Nobody can complete his life here. And we don't know how many days we are staying here. The closure followed similar moves by other countries along the so-called Western Balkan route, the overland path taken by lakhs of migrants who have entered Europe from Turkey through Greece on their trek to desirable northern European destination countries such as Germany and Sweden. Slovenia, Croatia and Serbia closed their doors to migrants without visas or proper authorization to continue along the route. The closures had been signalled at the end of an emergency summit between EU heads of government and Turkey when leaders declared that the Western Balkans route would be sealed to migrants, bringing an end to irregular migration into Europe. At the summit, EU and Turkish leaders agreed in principle that Ankara would prevent people from leaving its shores for Europe in exchange for more help for refugees living in Turkey, visa liberalization for Turks visiting Europe and accelerating Turkey's long-dormant EU accession talks. In February, nearly 1,800 people flooded into Greece from Turkey each day. But given the resistance to the deal by international humanitarian groups who say that blank mass returns run against the right of people fleeing war or persecution to seek asylum, 28 EU leaders have given themselves until the next summit due on March 17th and 18th to hone the details of the agreement. EU Migration Commissioner has said that the tentative deal would have to comply with EU and international law. In a bid to ease the burden on Greece, where some 41,000 migrants are now stranded in increasingly dire humanitarian conditions, the EU is stepping up relocations, with more than 900 people moved so far. However, that still falls far short of the 1,60,000 migrants that EU states have committed to move internally.